Welcome to clickmyproject.com. Let me discuss about the process data hiding in encrypted H.264 AVC video streams by codebird substitution. Let us see the abstract of the process. Hiding of information in videos has many applications for secure data transmissions. Videos is encrypted and the information that is to be hidden is included in the video frames. The encryption process is employed by shuffling the pixel corners of the input video frames based on key. This process is denoted as the codebird substitution models. Diagonal search patterns were employed for the secrecy of the informations. The frames were all divided into sub-blocks and the search patterns were identified in each sub-blocks. The points are detected in the videos based on the diagonal search patterns model. Mean difference matrix is constructed to select the selected points in the sub-blocks. The input blocks is compared with the current blocks by measuring the multiple mo block models at that point. If the block mean is matched, then the search is done at that point, otherwise the search is done for the whole blocks. The process is repeated until the search is done over all the frames in the video. The encoding process is employed using the Huffman transformation so that the encrypted bits were more reallocated and the original information is not possible to retrieve without the knowledge of the authorized key from the user. The, here the same Huffman transformation is employed for hiding the secret information within the images. The video can be decrypted if only the encryption schemes is known and hence the process can be used by authorized persons only. The information hidden in the video will be more secure and it's not authorized persons can get the secret information hidden in the video. The authorized persons can only decrypt the frames and the decrypt them. Images were re reversed. Input frames in the single video is decoded using Huffman in order to obtain the messages and also the search patterns is re reversed to find the original image pixels in the encrypted video frames. Thus, the obtained key-based code word substitution is reversed in order to obtain the ocean image pixels. The performances of the process is measured by calculating PSNR, MSC and BER calculation. Let us see the flow of the process. First, the input video is loaded. The videos were converted into frames. After converting into frames, encryption process is employed based on code word substitution. After that, Huffman encoding is employed, which is used for embedding the secret information inside the bits. So, as a result of these processes, the, the secret information is placed in the encrypted video frames. So, the resulting Stego video is caught. Here, the same process is repeated in the receiver side in order to obtain the images. So, first, the embedding process is reversed in order to obtain the secret information. That is, Huffman is decoded and the secret information were got. And after decoding the Huffman, the encryption process is reversed, which is based on code word substitution. So, after the, the decrypted video frames were got, finally, the performance of the process is measured with the help of PSNR value, MSE value, uh, compression ratio, bits per pixel selected. These parameters were estimated and the results were got and the results shows that the proposed method has improved performances compared to the uh, other methods. Let us see the running procedure of the process. If you want to run the code, select the file main.m which is located in the source code folder. Right click it and click on run file. You will get the user interface to run the program. <coughs> so this user interface is displayed. Click on load video to select any one of the video which is present in the data set. So select any one video. So the video is loaded and it will be displayed. So the video is displayed here. If you want to play this, you can play and see. Then uh, co we, con we convert the video into frames. So the frame conversion process going on. So all the, the video is converted into number of frames. Then after that, we do the encryption process. So in the encryption process, the video is encrypted and the process is uh, going on. After uh, encryption, so the encryption process is completed then we move on to the embedding process so we can select any one of the two choices so here user defined means give any one of the uh, uh, messages secret messages in this text and then click on uh, embed then this text will be embedded and it will be 
the embedding process is completed and the video is embedded so if you give default means defaultly the uh, text is given as uh, hello and it will be embedded then the video is embedded then we move on to the stigo video and we apply the stigo video so we retrieve the stigo video like this and then we retrieve the videos uh, extracted so in this process the video is uh, extracted so the uh, initially the video is retrieved and then we apply the decryption process so as we can see here the video is decrypted and it is displayed here ok then the video is uh, displayed here then the encrypted message that is hello is also retrieved here then after that we measure the performance of the process so as the performance the accuracy accuracy uh, mean square error rate compression ratio and bits per pixel rate were measured and the values were displayed here and the the accuracy value and the error rate value is displayed in the graphical format thus we uh, propose uh, in, uh, in a video process that encrypts and they embed the secret messages inside the video first the video is encrypted and then the secret messages is embedded in the uh, encrypted video finally we retrieve the message and the video from the stigo videos thank you